heart of Mississippi, a seasoned narcotics agent, Mike, found himself face to face with a creature unlike anything he had ever encountered. It was a typical day for Mike, stationed on a remote state highway that led to a management area. As part of his duties, he had pulled over to complete some paperwork at the entrance of the area. Little did he know that this routine stop would turn into a chilling experience that would stay with him forever. Standing at the back of his vehicle, Mike suddenly noticed movement out of the corner of his eye. As he turned to look, he was stunned to see a figure standing just 50 to 60 feet away from him. The creature stood upright, towering at a similar height to Mike with a powerful and muscular build. It exuded an aura of strength and primal energy. The creature appeared to have a mix of human and animal characteristics. Its legs were slightly bent, its arms hung long, almost down to its knees, and its body had patches of missing hair, particularly around the chest and abdomen. Its face was broad with dark, intense eyes that seemed to lock onto Mike's gaze. Despite the creature's formidable appearance, its expression remained stoic and unchanging, sending shivers down Mike's spine. What struck Mike the most was the sheer power exuding from the creature's form. Its muscles rippled under its fur, and its broad shoulders hinted at immense strength. The encounter felt surreal, yet undeniably real, as Mike and the creature held each other's gaze in a tense standoff. As if the presence of one enigmatic being wasn't enough, a low guttural growl resonated from the nearby brush, indicating the possible presence of another unseen entity. The unnerving sound added an extra layer of fear and uncertainty to the already tense situation. In that moment, Mike's training and experience as a law enforcement officer kicked in. Despite his shock and disbelief at the sight before him, he maintained his composure and vigilance. The encounter lasted only a few intense moments before the creature turned and disappeared into the brush, leaving Mike to ponder the reality of what he had just witnessed. Reflecting on the encounter, Mike couldn't shake off the feeling of awe and dread that lingered in the air. The encounter had opened his eyes to the existence of entities beyond his wildest imagination, lurking in the shadows of the wilderness. The encounter left him with more questions than answers, fueling a curiosity tinged with a hint of fear about the mysteries that lay hidden in the depths of the forest. As he recounted his experience, Mike's voice carried a mix of awe, uncertainty, and a newfound respect for the unknown. His encounter with the mysterious creature had left an indelible mark on his psyche, forever altering his perception of the world around him. The encounter served as a stark reminder that in the vast expanses of nature, secrets and enigmas awaited those brave enough to seek them out. Shirley shares her captivating encounter that happened many years ago during a science camp in California. Born and raised in the Central Valley near Castle Air Force Base, Shirley recounts her childhood spent with her boy cousins who taught her about hunting and survival in the wilderness. Despite her initial interest in wildlife, her true passion lay in writing. Shirley's life-altering encounter took place on the eve of her 13th birthday during a sixth grade science camp at Camp Green Meadows, located near the majestic Sierra National Forest in California. Despite the serene aura of the campsite, a sense of eeriness lingered in the air as night blanketed the surroundings. Shirley, ever the astute observer, chose to position herself near a picnic table, facing a towering ancient tree that cast formidable shadows under the moonlit sky. In the dead of night, as silence enveloped the campgrounds and most campers were immersed in deep slumber, Shirley was roused from her peaceful dreams by an urgent call of nature. Slowly unzipping her sleeping bag, she was momentarily paralyzed by a sight that defied all logic. There, in the pale moonlight, stood a colossal white silver figure. The unearthly being towered above her, its presence both mesmerizing and unsettling. Details became etched in her memory the creature's eyes flickering with an otherworldly glow, its cascade of straight, wavy hair framing a face that seemed almost familiar. 
Heart pounding in her chest, Shirley's instincts warred within her. Should she illuminate the area with the harsh beam of her flashlight, or remain concealed, pondering this enigmatic figure from the safety of the shadows? Though fear gripped her, she knew this encounter would forever alter her perception of reality. Throughout the years, Shirley grappled with reoccurring dreams and memories of the encounter, yearning to understand the mysterious being she saw. Engaging in extensive research, Shirley delved into books, documentaries, and online forums, seeking corroborating evidence or other encounters in her area. She eventually reached out to experts in the field and shared her detailed account, including specific details of the creature's features and demeanor. Shirley believes Sasquatch to be closely related to humans, possibly sharing a small percentage of human DNA akin to gorillas and chimpanzees. She describes Sasquatch as a sophisticated being that mimics sounds and learned to adapt to avoid human encounters. As Shirley concludes her recount of the mysterious encounter at Camp Green Meadows, she stresses the impact this experience has had on her life. Despite the passage of time, the memory remains vivid in her mind, prompting her to continue exploring the world of the unknown. Shirley's narrative serves as a reminder of the vast mysteries that lie beyond our understanding, waiting to be discovered and shared with the world. Fox, a spiritual man and resilient individual who overcame life-threatening challenges following a traumatic accident, found solace in the wilderness and a deep-rooted curiosity about the unexplained. Raised on a sprawling farm, his childhood was marked by a horrifying incident where a prized horse fell victim to a savage attack that defied conventional explanations. The torn carcass bore witness to an inexplicable force, fueling Fox's interest in elusive creatures that roam the woods. Years later, on a fateful camping trip with friends at a remote ranch, Fox's thirst for adventure led him into a night of terror and uncertainty. Nestled in the heart of the wilderness, the campsite exuded a sense of isolation, surrounded by untamed expanses of land and rugged terrain. As night fell and a crackling campfire provided a flickering warmth, the group's laughter and camaraderie filled the air, masking the looming presence of the unknown. It was then that a bone-chilling roar shattered the tranquility of the night, sending shivers down the spines of the campers. The primal sound echoed through the stillness, reverberating with a power that seemed to defy the natural order. The campers, gripped by a sense of primal fear, exchanged nervous glances, their hearts pounding in unison as they grappled with the unnerving reality of their situation. Undeterred by the mounting unease, Fox and two companions, his trusted allies in the face of the unknown, resolved to investigate the source of the mysterious roar. Armed with only a rifle and a feeble flashlight, they set out into the shadowy depths of the wilderness, their senses heightened and their nerves on edge. The darkness cloaked them like a shroud, the silence broken only by the crunch of leaves beneath their feet and the erratic beam of the flashlight cutting through the night. Their journey into the unknown led them to a clearing near a hayfield where they stumbled upon a scene that defied all logic and reason. Massive hay bales, typically immovable objects, lay strewn asunder, their displacement a testament to a force of unimaginable strength. The sight chilled Fox to the core, stirring primal instincts of survival and heightening his awareness of the hidden dangers that lurked in the shadows. Fearing to alarm the rest of the group, Fox and his friends concealed the unsettling truth of their nighttime encounter, shrouding the campsite in an eerie silence. The following morning, the discovery of colossal footprints encircling the camp fueled speculation of a curious visitor, observing them from the darkness, unseen yet undeniably present. The mysteries deepened for Fox years later, during a hunting expedition where a routine hog hunt turned into a perplexing enigma that defied all logic and reason. As Fox and his companions ventured into the wilderness in pursuit of their prey, unaware of the uncanny forces at play, their fates intertwined with the elusive and inscrutable beings that dwelled in the shadows. 
Armed with determination and a hunter's instinct, Fox stalked through the dense undergrowth, his senses attuned to the pulse of the wild and the rhythm of the forest. The crack of his rifle split the serene air as he successfully targeted some hogs, including a massive boar that stood as a testament to the wild's raw power and primal majesty. However, as the wounded creatures fell under the weight of Fox's precision, a subtle shift occurred in the fabric of the wilderness. Unbeknownst to the hunters, certain individual Sasquatch creatures were drawn to the echoing gunshots, like a siren's call. They emerged from the depths of the forest to claim their prize. With an otherworldly stealth that eluded mortal senses, these enigmatic beings, rumored to possess an unparalleled intelligence and a connection to ancient mysteries, crept towards the fallen hogs, their intentions veiled in mystery. In a haunting display of preternatural skill and a silent pact with the shadows, the elusive Sasquatch creatures seized the wounded or fallen animals before the hunters could reach their kills. As Fox and his companions scoured the wilderness with mounting confusion and disbelief, the absence of the 350-pound hog spoke volumes of the surreal events unfolding in their midst. The disappearance of the hogs, seemingly orchestrated by unseen hands that moved in tandem with the forest's whispers, left Fox and his companions at the mercy of forces beyond their comprehension. The forest, once a place of familiar terrain and predictable outcomes, now harbored secrets and mysteries that danced on the edge of human understanding, casting a shadow of bewilderment over the hunter's mundane expedition. These inexplicable encounters left Fox grappling with profound questions about the unknown, delving into the realms of ancient myths and uncharted territories where reality blurs with the supernatural. James was a teenager when he had a chilling encounter in the woods of Pennsylvania that would haunt him for the rest of his life. Growing up in a suburban area of the state, James often visited his grandparents in Pennsylvania during summer family reunions. Every year, the kids would camp out in tents while the adults stayed in the house, making it a fun and memorable event for the family. During one of these summer visits, James and his cousins started hearing strange howling sounds in the distance while camping out in the tents. The adults dismissed it as the sound of a fire siren or an animal, but James couldn't shake off the eerie feeling that lingered in the air. Years later, James relocated to southwestern Pennsylvania due to his parents' job transfer. There, he befriended a local boy named Billy, and the two of them spent their time exploring the rural area on their bikes. One day, Billy suggested they go fishing at a spot he knew by a creek, located deep in the woods. As they ventured further into the secluded area, they stumbled upon a serene clearing by the water that seemed perfect for camping. Excited by the idea, they planned a camping trip to the spot, packed with their essentials in a duffel bag and an old canvas tent. They rode their bikes to the remote location for a weekend getaway. The first day of their camping trip was idyllic. They enjoyed fishing, swimming in the creek, and relishing the beauty of the unspoiled nature around them. However, as night fell, their peaceful sojourn took a terrifying turn. They heard rocks being thrown around their campsite from above, and initially thinking it was a bear, they shouted to scare the animal away. But the disturbances persisted, with more rocks being thrown and eerie huffing sounds echoing through the woods. As the night crept on, casting long shadows over the secluded clearing, where James and Billy had set up camp, a sense of dread descended upon them. The once familiar sounds of the wilderness now seemed tinged with an otherworldly quality, heightening their unease. Their escalating fears reached a crescendo in a moment that would forever be seared into their memories. Suddenly, emerging from the enveloping cloak of darkness, a looming figure materialized before them. The sheer size and intimidating presence of the creature evoked primal fear in both James and Billy, freezing them in place. It stood before them, a hulking silhouette that seemed to straddle the realms of human and beast. 
The creature's face, framed by the dim moonlight filtering through the trees, appeared as a bizarre amalgamation of simian features and humanoid characteristics. Its eyes gleamed with an inscrutable intelligence, locking onto James and Billy with a gaze that seemed to penetrate their very souls. A guttural growl rumbled from its throat, reverberating through the night air like a thunderous warning, sending shockwaves of terror rippling through the two boys. The unearthly fusion of primal ferocity and uncanny familiarity in the creature's countenance struck a chord of primal fear deep within James and Billy. The sheer unearthly presence of the entity defied comprehension, shattering their sense of reality and plunging them into a nightmarish encounter that would haunt them for the rest of their days. Paralyzed with fear, they watched as the creature turned and disappeared back into the woods, leaving them traumatized and shaken to the core. In the aftermath of the chilling encounter, James and Billy fled the campsite in panic, leaving behind their bikes and belongings as they raced back to safety. Upon returning home, James was plagued by the haunting memory of the creature's haunting gaze and guttural growl. The incident left him scarred, unable to look outside after dark. When authorities were called to investigate the incident, they attributed the strange occurrences to bear activity, dismissing James and Billy's account as a mere sighting of a wild animal. Despite their adamant belief that what they had encountered was no ordinary bear, the official report concluded otherwise, further isolating James in his haunting experience. Years later, as James reflected on that fateful night in the Pennsylvania woods, he couldn't shake off the chilling realization that there might be more to the wilderness than meets the eye. The encounter had left an indelible mark on him, serving as a stark reminder of the mysteries that lurk in the shadows of the world, waiting to be discovered by those brave enough to venture into the unknown. In the early 80s, a 21-year-old man named John, an avid fisherman and hiker, found himself exploring the John Muir Wilderness near Huntington Lake, California. After a day of hiking, he stumbled upon a peaceful meadow surrounded by towering redwoods. Perched on a rocky outcrop amidst the serene beauty of the meadow, John's senses were suddenly heightened as he detected a subtle movement to his left. His initial assumption of encountering a grizzly bear, a common inhabitant of the wilderness, sent a shiver of apprehension down his spine. However, as the figure gradually materialized before him, a sense of disbelief and awe took hold. The sight before him defied all expectations. A towering seven-foot-tall being with vibrant orange hair reminiscent of a tabby cat, standing upright on two feet like a human, the sheer presence and peculiar appearance of the creature defied any categorization within the known realm of wildlife. In that heart-stopping moment of realization, John's mind grappled with the impossibility of what stood before him, challenging his understanding of the natural world and sparking a profound sense of bewilderment. Intrigued by the creature's unusual behavior, John watched in awe as it delicately foraged in the meadow displaying a surprising level of dexterity and intentionality in its actions. The sight of the creature consuming plants and sticks with a certain finesse, akin to how one might eat corn on the cob, both fascinated and unsettled him. As the creature drew nearer, John, caught in a mix of fear and curiosity, instinctively raised his hand in a tentative gesture of greeting. However, the creature's reaction was unexpected. Startled by the sudden movement, it locked eyes with John, the intensity of its gaze piercing through him and sending a chill down his spine. In that moment, standing face to face with the being, John felt a wave of fear wash over him, a primal instinctual response to the unknown and the uncanny. Despite the palpable fear that gripped him, John couldn't help but notice the absence of aggression in the creature's demeanor. Its behavior was more akin to that of a curious observer, intrigued by this unexpected interaction with a human. The creature's unassuming yet inquisitive stance, 
hinted at a deeper intelligence and sentience, challenging John's preconceived notions and leaving him with a sense of wonder tinged with unease. After a brief moment, the creature turned to leave, its head remaining fixed on the young man. Feeling a mix of fear and curiosity, he raised his hand, pleading for it not to go. Surprisingly, the creature acknowledged him by raising its hand, before eventually walking back into the woods, leaving the young man awestruck. Reflecting on the encounter, the young man found the creature's human-like features and behaviors puzzling, its flat, human-like nose with larger nostrils, hairless hands, and well-groomed appearance left him in awe. The creature's nearly seven-foot-tall stature, wide shoulders, and V-shaped body structure added to its enigmatic allure. Despite the intrigue, the young man acknowledged the unnerving feeling that this creature did not belong in the natural realm. This sense of unnaturalness, combined with the creature's non-aggressive behavior during their encounter, sparked a deep curiosity in him about the true nature of these beings. In the aftermath, the young man grappled with whether to share his experience with others. Lacking belief from his usual circles, he kept the encounter to himself for years, finally confiding in his mother, who listened with an open mind and belief in his story. As the young man continued to visit the area, hoping for another glimpse of the mysterious creature, he remained cautious and contemplative about the true nature of these beings. Despite the allure and fascination they held, he recognized the potential dangers of seeking further encounters with these elusive forest dwellers. Bob, a seasoned hunter and avid nature enthusiast, found himself immersed in the tranquil embrace of his family's sprawling land in Alabama, teeming with prime hunting opportunities. Eager to capitalize on the bountiful wildlife that roamed their ancestral property, Bob set out on a hunting expedition brimming with anticipation and a sense of adventure. With the backdrop of familiar family land and a promising hunting season ahead, Bob's enthusiasm was palpable as he ventured deep into the wooded expanse, armed with his trusty rifle and a hunter's keen instinct. As he settled into his strategically chosen hunting stand, perched amidst the verdant wilderness, Bob's senses heightened in anticipation of the majestic bucks that had been captured on their trail cameras in recent days. The promise of a successful hunt hung in the air, fueling Bob's excitement as he waited patiently for the elusive game to make its appearance. The serene ambiance of the forest enveloped him, a familiar yet ever-changing backdrop that spoke of untold secrets and hidden wonders. Lost in the reverie of the impending hunt, Bob was abruptly interrupted by an uncanny disturbance in the natural rhythm of the forest. The tranquil hush was shattered by a sudden commotion as a group of startled deer bolted across his line of sight, their panicked flight hinting at an unseen threat lurking in the shadows. Perplexed by the uncharacteristic behavior of the wildlife, Bob's hunter instincts kicked into overdrive as he braced himself for a potentially noteworthy encounter. Intrigued by the erratic behavior of the fleeing deer and sensing an opportunity to track down a significant quarry, Bob's curiosity mingled with a tinge of apprehension as he readied himself for the unexpected twist awaiting him in the depths of the woodland. Little did he know that the mundane routine of a hunting expedition would soon give way to a series of surreal encounters that would challenge his understanding of the natural world and leave an indelible mark on his psyche. Upon moving to a new vantage point, Bob encountered a peculiar sight, a group of deer darting away frantically as if being pursued by a larger creature. Amping up his alertness, Bob readied his gun, expecting a massive buck to emerge. To his astonishment, what emerged from the woods was not a deer, but an imposing figure standing at eight feet tall, moving with deliberate strides. Contrary to Bob's initial assumption of a typical wildlife encounter, the forest's ambiance shifted as the extraordinary being manifested before his eyes. 
A towering figure standing at an imposing eight feet tall and weighing a hefty 700 pounds disrupted the tranquility of the woodland scene. Mesmerized by the entity's presence, Bob watched in awe as it effortlessly moved towards the scattering deer, dwarfing any creature he had ever encountered. As the colossal figure navigated through the undergrowth with a sense of purpose, its powerful strides resonating through the forest, Bob remained in a state of cautious fascination. Despite his apprehension, Bob maintained his composure, avoiding any sudden movements that might startle the cryptic being. Eventually, the towering figure veered into the tree line, prompting Bob to retreat cautiously, fearing drawing attention to himself. His heart racing, Bob recounted the unnerving encounter to his uncle months later, only to discover a long-held family secret about the entity lurking within their woodland domain. After the unsettling revelation of the creature on his family land in Alabama, Bob's curiosity and sense of adventure led him to distant Tennessee, where he found himself embroiled in a cryptic series of events that challenged his comprehension of reality. Visiting his ex-girlfriend's secluded residence nestled near an ancient Indian burial mound, Bob embarked on an expedition fraught with eerie encounters that defied conventional understanding. The tranquil ambiance of the remote Tennessee town belied the mysteries lurking beneath the surface, as Bob's visit to his ex-girlfriend's abode set the stage for a disconcerting revelation. While navigating the winding roads leading to the secluded property, the sighting of a colossal white creature perched at the edge of the road sent shivers down Bob's spine, stirring an unsettling blend of curiosity and trepidation within him. As the massive entity vanished from sight in a matter of a few swift strides, leaving Bob in a state of bafflement and intrigue, his ex-girlfriend's casual mention of similar sightings in the vicinity added a layer of intrigue to the unfolding narrative. The nonchalant acknowledgement of these mysterious occurrences hinted at a deeper undercurrent of unexplained phenomena haunting the secluded landscape, beckoning Bob into a realm where reality intertwined with the inexplicable. The following incident, unfolding in Tennessee's idyllic creek line setting, marked a profound shift in Bob's life trajectory. A leisurely family outing turned harrowing as a bewitching creature, leaning over a fallen tree, fixated its gaze on Bob and his kin. The tranquil ambiance shattered as a barrage of small rocks hurled towards them, inducing a paralyzing fear in Bob, who remained transfixed by the creature's piercing eyes. In a harrowing moment of connection, Bob found himself locked in a surreal trance, a transcendent merging of consciousness with the being before him. As the unsettling encounter unfolded, a sense of eerie calm and curiosity overtook the initial dread, leaving Bob grappling with the aftermath of an encounter that transcended conventional understanding. Haunted by the visceral memories of these encounters, Bob's perception of the natural world underwent a profound transformation, instilling a newfound wariness and reverence for the unseen forces that lurked within the pristine landscapes he once cherished. The profound impact of these unsettling experiences cast a long shadow over Bob's hunting excursions, compelling him to confront the mysterious entities that inhabited the fringes of his familiar wilderness, forever altering his relationship with the untamed wilderness he once called home. <laughs>